All we need now are some hot rod flames. Perfect. That's supposed to be. I'm entering the downhill racer competition, stupid pants. I thought downhill racers were supposed to be wood and have baby buggy wheels. Did you get the rule sheet, Wayne? No! That's the girl pants way of doing things. Wow, <laughs> I like the new look trike, son. It's not a trike, it's a downhill racer. Oh, right. Now, uh, where'd you put all the barbecue charcoal, Wayne? Gotta go. Bye. My dad helped me make it. In his day, dad won the downhill racer competition seven years in a row. But the wheels are nailed on, Tony. They can't turn. They're not supposed to. Dad taught me a swamp secret technique for wheel greasing. Really? What is it? It's a secret, Lucian. If it gets out, Swamp Kids won't have the advantage anymore. If Wayne knew, he might win. I'd never tell Wayne anything, Tony. Yeah. But it's still safer if you don't know. Is this the race place? I want to sign up. I'm sorry, son. Not on a trike you can't. You have to have a homemade wooden racer. It is made of wood. What's wrong? Too fast for you? Well, they're safety reasons, son. Here, read the rule sheet. I don't need rules. I'll have my own race. My own trike rally. Ha! Tubes in place. And just get the slugs ready. <laughs> A spy. I told you I was right to set traps, son. Lucian! Don't Lucian me, Tony Parsons. I heard what you were saying. You're exploiting slugs to win the race. No, Lucian. You must have misunderstood. We don't use slugs. We use slug bark from the Willoughby tree. It's very slippery. Super trike rally today! Big Hill, Soap City! Be there if you're mean and cool! Soap City still stinks! Can't believe we was born here, man. Okay, Tony, you are right on the starting line. Hey, Tony, you need to sign in. <gasps> this is harsh, even by swamp standards. Using live slugs is... as... skis! <laughs> Where is everybody? There ain't no bike rally. You guys look cool. Yeah, and you look like a little kitty. I am not. I'm just short. Well, how come you're riding on a little kitty's tricycle then? Uh, engine trouble. Don't try and monkey with me, cow. Did you put up this poster? No. Now all this poster popped my tire! Flat tire, huh? I bet I've got a spare for you back in my crib. Crib? Yeah, sure! You can chill there if you need a place to stay. You got any brew at your crib, kid? Brew! Uh, yeah, we got brews! Did you pry?
climb the slug box, Tony? Lucian. Hi, Dad. I brought some friends over. Yo, <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, uh, big boys. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, uh, gross spurts. Yo, <laughs> have fun. Welcome to the crib, man. Nerve Man meets the death robot, Aces. I'll have a look for that tire now. My old lady. What were you thinking of? How could you put barbecue coal in the laundry basket? Big whoop. That laundry was dirty anyway. I'm going to teach you some laundry manners, young man. Pay attention. You're going to wash these clothes you put charcoal on. But, Mom. It's for you, Sugar Mop. <laughs> yes, he caught him. Okay, kiddo. Enough stalling. Where's that tire you promised? Uh, I was just looking for it, okay? Are you making a monkey out of me, kiddo? Huh? Smells like barbecue. Uh, yeah, that's barbecue, all right. Want to stay for dinner? <laughs> Lucian, from next door, you stand accused of slug napping. How do you plead? Yeah, sit down, uh, big boys. <laughs> and how about them brews you promised? Yeah. Wayne Cramp! Here! Here's your bruise! <laughs> he thinks we're funny monkeys, man! Uh, thanks! Gotta go! Friends of Dirty Joe's. Yeah, that changes everything. Uh, are those guys your friends, Joe? No! <coughs> and they're not my kids, neither! So don't mention them again! Lucian from next door, you have been found guilty. And it is our common decision that you should be pardoned. Evolution. Your first trial. You're really growing up. Yeah, you're practically a real swamp person now. And you were wrong about the slugs, you know. They don't get hurt. Blueback slugs just give off gallons of grease. Where'd you hide them? My underwear's in there, Tony. What am I gonna do? Go natural. What? It feels really good. Hmm. Ew. Oh, Wankins. It's so romantic of you to walk me home from school. No, it isn't! 
when do I get to sit in your dad's new XT7000 like you promised? Hi, Wendy. Hi, Wendy's friend. His name is Wayne. Yo, Wayne. Car girl! Too bad. The chauffeur's daughter has work to do, Wayne. But we can go to my room and pretend we're sitting in the X. Whatever at night. Dan, got a tummy ache. Mm, the cheese smothered steak was excellent, Sugar Mop. Uh. I'm glad someone's enjoying it. Mom, I'm a vegetarian. So? There was cheese on it. Oh, you're just a fussy terrian, if you ask me. Don't tell me you're becoming one too, Wayne. I'm not hungry. His forehead's not warm. I'm going to my room. Oh, he seemed fine all day until he came back from Wendy's. Wait a second, Honey Apron. When I fell in love with you, I lost my appetite and stared at ceilings too. Wayne must be in love with Wendy. <laughs> You better talk to him, dear. Man to man. Me? <gasps> Why can't you do that? Uh, so when a, a, a cowboy rides into town and then he sees the uh, uh, sheriff's daughter, well, he, he uh, just might get a feeling inside he's never felt before. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad we had this little chat. Mom and Dad say you're in love with Wendy and want to be her teddy bear. What? I don't love Wendy or anybody. Especially not Wendy. <laughs> what happened to your usual tiger-like appetite, Wayne Pooh? I feel sick. Want to know why Wayne can't eat? He's a nerd. Well, can anyone home from school today, Wayne? Want to come over to play today, Wayne? No! We can look at cars again. Yes! So, this is the big limo, and this is the little limo. And this one's not a limo at all, it's, uh... The XT-7000! Zero to sixty in five seconds. Okay, Joanne, go polish Daddy's motorcycle or something. Motorcycle? You want to see it? Come on, I'll show you. Never mind that greasy machine. <gasps> Wayne Crap, you're blushing. Is there something you want to ask me? Wow! In private? Well, what did you see? Wayne's in love with a car, right? No, he's in love with a girl who smells like a car. Her name is Joanne. He probably doesn't even realize. I bet Wayne's never even felt love before. We never even felt like before. Right there! Wendy told me she saw blobs of blue stuff soaking into the paintwork. Uh, it looks like polish, sir. <laughs> See? <laughs> no harm done. Well, don't let it happen again. Wanna try my test and see if you're special, Wayne? No. It's a science project. I'm testing to see if people can control their heart rates. Cool people can, Wayne. Like bank robbers and racing car drivers. Really? Uh-huh. Sure. But if you don't want to try it... Okay, girl pants, test me. I'm super cool and you know it. Okay, here we go. What's that supposed to be? Wendy Winkle. 
And that... <laughs> Joanne! <sighs> Look at that heart rate! Not to mention the rosy cheeks! You're in love! With Joanne! <laughs> No! Make it go away! I want to be hungry again! Don't look at me! If you forgot to flush the toilet, all you had to do is phone, Wayne. But isn't that just an excuse to get me alone and ask me another question? Uh, you're right. Can we go in the garage and see the motorcycle? Fine. In the garage now. Maybe you have another question to ask me? Uh, okay, Wendy. Do you think Joanne would go to the dance with me because uh, I'm in love with her? Ah! <laughs> yeah, Wayne. That's cool. Ah! 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 Okay, thanks. Gotta go. Bye. For you! It's a girl! Car girl? How do I look? Come on, Lucian. Let's give Wayne some privacy. Hello! Hello! You hung it up, frog legs! Hello. Hi, Wayne. Oh, it's you. I'm calling to find out if you really love Joanne. Yeah? Then you need to come over to the garage right away. Joanne might have to go away because my father thinks her father is doing a terrible job. That stinks. That's why I need you to break down the limousine so he can fix it and prove how clever he is. You bet. Mess it up a lot, Wayne. For us, Joanne. And let me help, too. I'm in a hurry, Rawlings. My 10 o'clock has moved to 9 o'clock, and my 10.30 o'clock has moved to, like... Perhaps we'd better take the little limo today, sir. I already told you I'm in a hurry, Rawlings. Now, get in the car and drive. <laughs> what is the meaning of this, Rawlings? I've been trying to tell you, sir. Your car has been vandalized. What's this? Flew off the engine. Heavens, it's a ribbon that belongs to my Wendy. I only did it because I love Wayne, and he doesn't love me back. He loves Joanne. I understand, my little buttercup. I don't know why he likes her. She's always dirty and wearing greasy clothes and and who am i to stand in the way of love daddy can i have some money that's the spirit sweetness happiness is something your daddy can buy you thanks for helping me with my hair and stuff wendy but you look great joanne there's not much you can do to upset a boy when you look like this. Ah! Where's Joanne? Right here, silly. <laughs> you smell like a strawberry. Wendy helped me make myself pretty for the dance. Blech. Nope. No red. Daddy is a bank robber! Cool! No more love! I want pizza! Oh, no! <laughs> Did you do something wrong? <laughs> that was a short dance tonight, lover boy. I'll never fall in love. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs>